a lot of the lyrics I thought were just thrown in. I mean, I, it, they could have deeper meaning, and I tried to really analyze some of them, but some of these lyrics just seem like, I think if I was stoned when I, when I listened to it, I might have liked it better. But I don't do that anymore. So I'm coming up uh, this month, five years, being weed free. And I had smoked weed for 13 years. And during that 13 years, I had started the middle school with some friends. I maybe took six months off to try to quit, but because all my friends did it and I was completely surrounded by it, um, I ended up starting back up again. And during those 13 years, I would do multiple blunts a day with my friends, kind of like as a social thing. And almost every single night, I had a little ritual where I would smoke and then um, kind of decompress from a work day, if you will, and just get lost in a video game. And I did that night after night after night. And I would, if I couldn't find weed, I would actually scrape the res in my bowls and uh, I would try to get high off of that. And it wasn't until I quit that I realized what it was doing to my life. Um, I would always step up to the plate to help my family. And at the same time, I would prioritize getting high over that. I would often rush through things or um, if I could not even do things at all, just so I could get high. And if I ever smoked in the morning, my entire ambition for the day was just completely shot. Um, toward the end of my 13 years, I was using the wax, the little dab pens, and those were so strong that I actually, in some instances, just couldn't even drive if I wanted to. And I was someone that could hold their own when it comes to this stuff. Um, this is not the weed that my father grew up with um, in the 70s. You know, this is a different ball game, and I can only imagine what it is now, I, you know, since they've legalized these things. And toward the tail end, when they first started to legalize this up in the New England area, I uh, thought it was extremely strange because smoking weed was like a rebellious thing against the man, and now the man's telling me to do it. Um, it was a really odd dynamic there. Um, but when I quit, almost initially, I noticed that I was uh, much better with memory. If someone told me small things or little key details um, it, you know, throughout my day, I, I could uh, retain these things. And I was quicker with numbers, so I wasn't as dull. And I was smoking a lot, so I, I really do feel like it was making me dull. Um, and it also uh, showed me that I, you know, I, I wasn't prioritizing the, the, the right things in my life. I had spent countless dollars on this stuff, and when I quit, I actually lost a lot of friends. And uh, it kind of speaks to the people that you keep around you and what they truly value. Um, you know, the things that I really enjoyed when I was high, when I quit, I no longer enjoyed any of those things. So if, if I have to um, be inebriated to enjoy something, is, is that something that I should have in my life? It gave me a lot of clarity in that way. Um, I have my testimony in a previous video, I won't say it here, but I, when I came to know the Lord, I smoked once after that, and I was absolutely riddled with shame, like an unusual amount. I just knew that I wasn't supposed to do it anymore, and um, I sold all my things, I gave it away, and uh, that's in the past now. Um, you know, I'm a better brother, I'm a better son, and I'm a better grandson because of it, and um you know, I'm kind of that, you know, early 30s guy that quit weed and talks about it in the past. And, I, and I've and i met these people before, but when I'm in the middle of it, uh, in my mid-20s and even early 20s, I just, um, I couldn't see it. You know, I, I couldn't see the bondage, uh, the chains that were literally around me, the spiritual snare of weed. I'm not denying its medicinal purposes, but the recreational stuff doesn't help you in any possible way. I used to smoke to kind of um, alleviate some paranoid anxiety that I would have. And when I quit, all of a sudden I didn't have either of those things. So the problems that I had, weed was the solution, but it was actually causing the problems in the first place. Um, you know, quitting weed it w allowed me to grab hold of my life and really kind of see it for what it was in the areas that I needed to improve in. Um, and, you know, glory to the Lord for uh, kind of giving me a a kick in the butt to do that. Um, if this testimony means any, anything to anybody, uh, the, the least I could say is, um, you know, quit. Give it, give it two weeks and see how you feel. Because, I, you know, just cardio-wise, healthy-wise, and sleep. Sleep was a huge thing. I was never truly rested. When you smoke weed at night, you never enter into that deep REM sleep. Something I never knew. Something I, if you told me, I probably wouldn't even believe at the time. Uh, my sleep is huge, you know. I wake up very early for work, and I'm actually rested. And, um, 
you know, just something to consider. One more point that I just wanted to add. Um, if you smoke weed, look at yourself in the mirror after you do it. G give yourself a nice, honest look and try to tell me that that's a look of being in control. Your eyes tell you that you shouldn't. Smoke weed and then look at yourself in the mirror and tell me what you see.